of film buffs and people just generally interested in watching things. I'm Courtney Eckert here at the 52nd Annual World Fest in Houston at the world premiere of Evergreen. It's an indie film and I'm here to talk to the producers, directors, and actors. Check it out. This has all been a kind of self-funded project for everyone, traveling and getting there and working so hard. What drew you to that and what made you think, yeah, I do want to spend two weeks directing in this Colorado cabin? The opportunity, you know, to create something beautiful or attempt to create something beautiful with people that you care about and have a... It's almost like the experience of making a film is as as wonderful and as fulfilling as the movie itself. The creation of it and the relationship form is its own work of art. And so I think, you know, more than anything, really the opportunity just to go and make us tell a story with people that I care about was worth it to me. You yeah. Know? Yeah, and this film, it explores um, a very liberal character and then a religious, conservative character. How do you think that's going to resonate with the audience here premiering in Houston? Um, I think everybody can sort of relate to loving somebody that you don't share values but personality or, or you don't know what you share but you just a connection to. I think we all want, want what we want. We all desire the people that we desire and have to reconcile that. And this is a film that you're trying to break boundaries. You're trying to introduce different ideas of faith and relationships that have been done in a new way. What is your motivation there? I just feel like uh, Christian film isn't accurately portrayed. Um, sometimes it can come across as cheesy or, or forceful in its message. And I just wanted to see uh, a real representation of someone who has a faith that's important to them um, on the screen. And I think that we were able to accomplish that. I think that we see a guy who his Catholicism is a big part of him. But we're not trying to force any message. We're not trying to... Uh, we're not trying to convert anyone. We're just trying to show kind of how that life may look. And what measures did you take to ensure that this film, Evergreen, would do that differently than other films have in the past? Well, collaborating with people with uh, various beliefs certainly helped. Um, we had people from all kind of points of life collaborating on this in the writing process and the producing process. So getting their feedback was very beneficial. Um, I feel like no one jeopardized themselves in what they believed on this. So it was just kind of a very cool, beautiful thing to kind of come together as a people and, and just make something uh, that is truthful for all of us. Without giving too much away, you kind of play two characters I've never really seen on screen before. Um, what challenges were introduced in reading a script that you wouldn't really know how it was going to be executed on screen? Really, my performance was really dependent upon Tanner's character and his performance, right? So I've never, as an actor, had to curate a performance so much to fit with another person's. Um, theoretically, we're playing these characters subconscious to a certain degree right. that is sort of manifested through their former lovers. And so to a certain degree, what, whatever was portrayed through me when you talk about listening was important because I needed to, my character needed to convey feelings, but they needed to be conveyed through the lens of a man, but through the heart of a woman, mm -hmm. right? And so certain dialogue points couldn't be so abrasive because she, would she think that right, way? Exactly. And when she thought of me, she would, to a certain degree, sort of create the ideal version of me, not the version of her that hurt that her, existed. but the version, of, the version of me that would console her. Movies like this and projects like this are why I fell in love with cinema in the first place. It's sort of how can all of these disparate people come together to make a unified thing. Um, I just really enjoy that. Um, and also, I freaking love Tanner and Marshall. And so when they reached out to me and they're like, you want to work with us? So I was like, yes. Why did it take you so long to ask me? What did that look like assembling a team that started just as you and one other person and now has grown to this full-blown premiere? What do you think makes people want to collaborate and say, yeah, we'll come to Colorado for two weeks and just give everything we have to this? So Tanner and I used to go to coffee shops and write scripts together and we tried to pitch movies together and stuff all over town <laughs> and uh, it didn't really work out. So we were like, let's just take matters into our own hands. All these people are from internships, from jobs, from day playing on set. It's it's just this whole amalgamation of people and uh, 
It's been, uh, it, it was a lot of favors, a lot of stepping out onto the balcony. <laughs> A lot of just saying, uh, like, hey, we're going to go to Colorado and make a movie. Yeah. Do you want to come? come? Yeah. <laughs> and we just, it's like what made the process so fun. It was just yeah. we were all friends and doing what we wanted to be doing. And so yeah. we finally, like, helped each other realize our dreams all yeah. together. Be sure to check out Evergreen at screenings in Los Angeles, Dallas, and Baltimore.